Um, hi, this is uh, a tutorial on jQuery and basic JavaScript. Alright, so let me get started. Um, I've got basic HTML here and opening and closing script tags. Uh, here I'm including uh, the JavaScript, well, the jQuery uh, library uh, from the jQuery site. So I haven't downloaded it, but you can get it from here. Uh, if you just go into download and you can either copy the link or you can download this and include it as a separate file. Alright, uh, what we're going to do here is just create a simple timer. So, yeah, let's get started. Uh, first of all, we'll need a placeholder for our counter. So, we'll just create a simple loop. Alright, open and closing, and we'll give an, an ID of counter. Alright, uh, we set value, we can set to zero, so just put zero in there. Uh, now we can get to the actual JavaScript. Uh, in between these two JavaScript uh, script tags, uh, we're going to be writing the code. And, yeah, first of all, we can just create a simple function. Uh, name timer just like that and what we'll want to do is have a variable uh, an integer that counts for us so let's see and all right actually what we want to do is we want to create this variable outside of the timer function like so alright um, now what we're going to do is we're going to use set interval uh, to call this function and each time we're going to add one to like plus one to counter which will then make it count uh, so what we'll do is so right counter plus plus which we'll just add one and then we're going to actually use our first bit of jQuery and we're going to use a hash sign to select an ID and the ID will be counter All right. um, and what we're going to want to do is use uh, the text function and in that we'll use the counter variable that we have here. What we'll, this will basically do is it will set uh, this here, the text in this div, to whatever the counter is. <laughs> Alright, so we've got that. Now what we need to do is just ensure that this function actually gets called. So here we use set interval. Like so. Now, what we have to do is we have to uh, set which function should be called. So here we say timer because that's this function. And we, uh, after this, we give a comma and we set how many milliseconds we should wait before, uh, well, what the interval should be between each time this function gets called. So we'll set this to 1000, 1000 milliseconds being one second. And yeah, we'll go ahead and save this file now. And now, if we come over here, refresh this, then you'll see that it counts each second. Alright, uh, thanks for watching this quick tutorial. Alright, thanks.